Welcome to another episode of Acoustic Corner. I'm your host, Brooke Hunley. Acoustic Corner is designed to show you new music within the community and help you find local artists to add to your favorite collections. Every week, we feature an upcoming musician or band performing the songs they're most proud of. We also sit down with our talent to get a behind-the-scenes look at the long road to success and the inspiration behind their sound. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite drink, and let us bring the music to you. Tonight's episode of Acoustic Corner features a singer and guitarist from Buffalo, New York. He's a senior music major at Ithaca College and has been playing music most of his life, including becoming quite skilled at the French horn. But he's got a taste for modern rock and his own twist on a few songs we all know and love. Please give a warm welcome to Brian Hoffelswagger, kicking things off with Incubus's Make Yourself. myself out of falling Thanks, Brian. We'll be back with more great music and even a special up close and personal interview with the artist himself right after this. Stay tuned, it's Acoustic Corner. While walking in a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. Well, I bought that box of crayons and took it home with me and drew with all the colors so the crayons could all see. That each of us is special and everyone's unique, but it's when we get together that... The picture is complete! There are these just two absolutely adorable little kids. They work very closely with my foster grandmother. She's this 83-year-old woman that is able to give them one-on-one -on -one attention. They're different kids, and when they walked in in September, they're more sure of themselves. They're so happy, and the mom is happy. These little kids have a safe place to go, and that they come home excited. It's time to get involved. This is General Colin Powell of America's Promise. Call us and point a kid in the right direction. 
Welcome back to Acoustic Corner. If you're just tuning in, you missed a great performance by the multi-talented Brian Hoffelschwager. But don't worry, we've still got lots to come, including an exclusive interview with the artist himself and another rocking performance. But first, we caught up with Brian before the show to get a taste for what the New Yorker's life is like and just how far his talents go. Take a look. Brian Hoffelschwager, and um, I play guitar. I actually play, um, I'm a classically trained French horn player. And, um, and that's what I'm planning to do for graduate school. And uh, hopefully, eventually, someday, maybe play in like an orchestra. Uh, I used to play trumpet for six years. I played some jazz. And um, that's kind of what led me to the guitar, because I like playing jazz, but I didn't want to play trumpet. So I started playing guitar. And I also play a little bit of piano. Well, hopefully, I, I really am more interested in getting better about writing lyrics, because I feel like I can write decent, decent music and stuff, because my mind works that way. but. I always have trouble putting, I'm never really satisfied with the lyrics, you know, even if the song does really well, I'm never really satisfied with it, so I guess I just, when I continue developing, become as good a songwriter as the Beatles or Bob Dylan, you know. It, it's kind of funny because there's a big difference between like working on your stuff and just rocking out. Like sometimes you really just need to sit down and say, I just need to get better at doing this. And you sit and you just repeat it and repeat it and just work on getting better at it, but other times you need to just... Try to remember why it is you do what you love. I mean, you just got to sit there and rock out and not care so much if you're screwing up or whatever. Just to do it for the love of the game, you know? So I was absolutely excited to play an Acoustic Corner. Um, it's always, whenever you get a chance to play your music for other people, it really is. I mean, that's why you do, it's why we do what we do, you know? Why we're musicians. We like to share our music with other people. It's the way we communicate. So to be able to do that, not only for other people in the studio, but also for like, a, you know, a medium like TV, it's, it's always exciting. Hey there, we're sitting down with Brian Hoffelswagger to get to know the man behind the music and find out more about the history surrounding those strings. Welcome to the show. Brian, glad to have you with us. Glad to be here. Thank you. All right, well, we're just going to get started to take a look at a little bit of the basic questions we ask all of our artists here. How did you first get involved with music? Well, when I was in uh, sixth grade, my father played guitar and my uncle played guitar. Uh, my uncle plays guitar and uh, just kind of seemed like the thing to do, so I picked it up and just kind of started fooling around. I never really took any lessons or anything, so <clears throat> just kind of uh, figured stuff out on my own. Wow, since sixth grade, that's a pretty long time there. It is an awful long time. Did you have, well, you had to have some inspirations along the way. Who would you say are your biggest musical influences? Well, as far as like being in a band, I think my biggest musical infl inspiration is Incubus, um, because I just think that Whenever you see them live, they just it sounds like they press play on a CD player, and that's just how they sound live. They're just a great band. But as far as guitar inspiration, hands down, Eddie Van Halen is my, is my inspiration above inspirations. He's just, the stuff he did for guitar players is just unbelievable. He's an unbelievable guitar player. So. Very cool, very cool. So I'm sure your talents have kind of evolved a little bit since sixth grade. How <laughs> I like would, to think so. <laughs> how would you describe your current music to people? Um, I guess it's just kind of, it's just rock. It's not really pop punk, but that's what I like to listen to sometimes too. And um, it's just, you know, Foo Fighters, Incubus Rock, you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers, I would say something like that. I keep hearing that Incubus creeping in a little bit. Uh, do you have a favorite song you like to perform? Um, Pardon Me is probably my favorite song to perform by Incubus. That's just the, I think that's the best, hardest rock song that's been made in the last probably 50 years. It's just a great song. Okay, well, I'm a little curious. What gets you pumped before the show? Do you, do you have a favorite CD you pop in, maybe? Um, every time I go on stage or go out to play, I like to listen to um, an Eddie Van Halen solo over and over again for a good solid five minutes. That gets me pretty amped, so nice. that's about what I like to do. All right. Well, we're going to take a short break, okay. but stick around. We've still got lots of juicy questions to ask Brian, and he has another piece he'd like to perform for you that you're not going to want to miss. So stick around, back with Acoustic Corner right after this. Our music is the most powerful form of political influence. It makes one want to get up and change society. You are all sheep for capitalist wool. Young men like John here, he has the passion. These guys vote. Shouldn't you? Steroids don't even do what our music does to the brain. Why to vote? For voter info, call toll free or see us at y2vote.org. Yeah! Who's the man? Yeah! All right! It's my birthday! It's 
my birthday. Oh, it's so pretty. Ho, ho, I told you. Don't be bringing that weak stuff in here. Yeah. Who's the man? Who's the man? Exercised lately. We didn't have much to give them. So when they showed up firing them mean looks around the place and staring us down on prices, well, I was angry. Didn't seem to bother my father, though. He had me load another bushel of apples in their trunk. I learned later on that this family was in need. The greatest gift we give It's in our heart what we believe The way we live Caring for others. Pass it on. While walking in a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said, nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. Well, I bought that box of crayons and took it home with me and drew with all the colors so the crayons could all see. That each of us is special and everyone's unique, but it's when we get together that... The picture is complete! Welcome back. You've heard where the man gets his inspiration. Now let's see him put his musical skills to the test. Performing his own version of Taking Back Sunday's Cute Without the E, cut from the team. Give it up for Brian Hoffelschwager. Your lipstick is collar, don't bother, Angel. I know exactly what goes on. Another amazing performance, but we're not done yet. We still have a few interesting questions from viewers like you to ask Brian. 
So don't go anywhere. You'll want to hear what he has to say right here on Acoustic Corner. Our music is the most powerful form of political influence. It makes one want to get up and change society. You are all sheep for capitalist wool. Young men like John here, he has the passion. These guys vote. Shouldn't you? Steroids don't even do what our music does to the brain. Why to vote? For voter info, call toll free or see us at y2vote.org. It's my birthday. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, oh, I told you, don't be bringing that weak stuff in here. Yeah. Who's the man? Who's the man? Exercised lately. And we're back. Thanks for tuning in to Acoustic Corner. We have one last interview before we go with the multi-talented Brian Hoffelschwager. Brian, just a few more questions we've been dying to ask. We're actually going to send it to our <coughs> in inbox right now. We've got some viewer questions that people are asking around the country. Let's see. Uh, Tori Knight from Boston writes, do you ever get nervous before a performance? It's a good question. What do you do to kind of combat the stage fright? Well, I mean, you absolutely do get nervous before a performance. I mean, you're you're going out in front of literally thousands of people, and um, you really, if you make a mistake, you can't say oh, shit and stop. You have to just keep going. But I don't know. I try not to think about it. I don't have any like set thing that I do, but well, I guess I have one. I frequently, this sounds dumb, but if I really start to feel myself getting so nervous that I can't think about anything else, I just do push ups as many as I can, and that gets my mind off everything else. And I'm not very strong, so I can't do that many, so it doesn't take me that long. So. Uh, that's probably the one thing I like to do, but um, I don't know. Just try to get pumped and think about doing the best that you can, and that'll get you that'll get you out of being nervous. So, all right, you heard the man. Push-ups, good key to keep those <laughs> nerves down. All right, we got another question. Uh, Matt Varner from Kansas City wants to know if you could play with any musical great, past or present, who would it be? Ooh, oh, this is easy, hands down, hands down, Eddie Van Halen. Uh, any, I would, I would love to just trade solos with Eddie for for <laughs> days if he could stand it with me, but it, it's, there's definitely no question about it. All right, I got well, one final question for everyone watching. Okay. What can we expect in the future from you? Well, um, I just put a new CD out and I uh, hope that goes pretty well. And I'm getting, looking to get back into the studios to do some more work um, very soon. I'd like to put some tours together, but um, if people don't buy my CDs, I'm not going to be able to. So long-term goal is just play until I die. That's pretty much the goal. All right, well, you heard him. Got to support him out there. That's Check right. out his CD. That does it for another episode of Acoustic Corner. I want to thank this week's guest, Brian Hoffelswagger, for stopping by and providing us with a wonderful performance. Be sure to look for him around Ithaca, bringing his talents to the music scene. And if you know of a local artist or band you'd like to see featured on our show, email us at acousticcorner at hotmail.com. Now get out there and enjoy all the music scene has to offer. You're listening to Acoustic Corner. Catch us next week. you say are your biggest musical influences? Hands down, Eddie Van Halen is my is my inspiration above inspirations. I just need to keep you in mind as something larger than life. I stay wrecked and jealous for this, for this simple reason. I just need to keep you in mind as something larger than life.